My booty don't jiggle jiggle. It's flat. You want to see it wiggle wiggle. Too bad. Because, I may, listen, I may be flat in the front and in the back, but my, my personality is thick. And, and my, my heart is even thicker. Sweetie, I assure you, flat anatomy isn't your problem. Heart and personality aren't the problem either. A lot of guys would go for what you got. On the other hand, you're a grown woman who likes to dress like a princess and post cringe on TikTok. Oh, okay. I just got stood up on a hinge date. Nobody cares! Well, he canceled like an hour before the date. That's actually pretty cool of him. And it means you didn't get stood up, you got flaked on. Not the same thing. Um, and that's fine. You know what? I'd rather, I'd rather not go anyway. Every day, more lies. Yeah, you did want to go, because you're complaining about it on TikTok. So, I'm at Sonic, and I'm getting a blast! Alright, I got my blast. Nobody cares! Everything is okay now. But here's my question. Maybe somebody can answer this. Why do men ask you out, pick the time and the place, and then cancel? Like, why ask me in the first place if you didn't want to go? Well, there could be many reasons, like he decided not to go out with you after he saw your TikToks, or he had a family emergency. As in, he showed your TikToks to his dad, and his dad wouldn't let him out of the house. Or he saw your TikToks and decided to go out with another woman. And that's what I would have done too. Now, I don't have any crotch fruit. I don't want any crotch fruit. Crotch fruit? Is that code for STDs or something? But if I ever decided to have kids... No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 One of my biggest fears is that I will go through the whole process to conceive. Get pregnant. Go through what could be a variety of symptoms, including hemorrhoids. Give birth. End up with a son. Do my very best to raise that son. Only for him to grow up and be a mess. Like my baby could have been an activist, a teacher, a doctor. But instead he starts a podcast trolling women all day using insults that aren't even clever. They're just recycled talking points from basement dwelling head. Sweetie, I don't think kids are going to be a problem for you because... You need male DNA to get pregnant, so... Any takers, gentlemen? Well, uh, that's awkward. The men aren't stepping up. I'm shocked. But hey, at least the crickets are interested. Oh, well, that's even more awkward. The crickets want to clarify that they are actually not interested and they're offended by the insinuation. You know what? Props to this guy for stepping up, because apparently everybody else on the bus was perfectly fine with all the, um, thoughtery. But guys, you know what I've noticed about a lot of Western women? They have no manners. And the reason they have no manners is because they think they're above accountability. And the reason that they think they're above accountability is because the bad behavior of women is always enabled by weak men. And that's the bottom line. Cause don't go censor. 